So thank you for joining us today, yeah. Audrey. It's a pleasure to be interviewing you. So I hear uh, through the grapevine that you are a photographer. Yeah, just starting out actually. Oh. Um, I go to a like kind of a performing arts high school, so you can take like these certain classes to help you further your education to what you're wanting to do when you grow up. Wow, wonderful. So are you finding that you are liking photography more or? What I like to do is I like to do action shots, so more sports oriented instead of like portraits and like film and like TV and stuff. Okay. Um, most of my friends do sports like hockey, soccer, tennis, so I'll take photos of them and then I'll edit them at home. Nice. So that's kind of what I'm loving to do right now. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what made you get into photography? My parents are both like I guess you could say film and like beauty and stuff because both of them do, well my parents both do uh, hair but my mom's a makeup artist so she does a lot of stuff on set like she's done work with Hilary Duff and my dad has a lot of clients that are models too so like I'll be behind the scenes when they're doing stuff and I'll watch them do like the makeup and the hair and like, I just got like really into it. So mm -hmm. did you grow up going to set and all of that? Yeah, oh. my dad owns his own salon at Salon Liberté, it's on uh, Young Street. So every time he would do um, a shoot, I would always be behind the scenes and watch like the screens go up and the lights and everything that you guys pretty much did today was pretty much what I've seen before. And it's just like it gets better and better every time because like I'm now starting to realize like how everything works. Right. But back then it was just like, okay, like I don't know what it was. So my dad used to be at um, Young, on Young Street, he was Salon Liberté, but now he moved to, he's in the atrium now, atrium on Bay. It's called Ferraro's. And he hasn't done any shoots there yet, as of, like that I have know of. But I, I'm hoping like if anything happens soon that I'll be like on set and maybe behind the camera, which would be really nice. Wow, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. So, mm -hmm. do you see yourself uh, traveling, doing photography, or would you like to just be more in the Toronto area? I've done a lot in Toronto, like so far. I wouldn't want to say like a lot, like I'm like some freelance artist, but like I've done quite a bit of like the CN Tower and like Graffiti Alley. I've done a lot down there. Nice. But I have like a whole list in my bedroom. Like I have like a chalkboard wall of like all the places I want to go, like Budapest, like India, like all these different places, like to like further like culturally, I guess in a sense. What would you say to young up and coming artists uh, who may be thinking about getting into photography? What would you say would be their first step? You'd really have to know not what you're doing in a sense, because I don't even know what I'm doing yet, like a hundred percent. So you'd have to know like what you're interested in, like take a few shots of really like I take flower, I guess you could say like in the garden and try to really focus in on like the key points and then like maybe like get a book, I guess, like not a book, but um, read up on what you're interested in and like try to find your, what you're into. Do you think it would be wise for someone starting out to get a, you know, an expensive camera because they know that it's going to take, you know, great photos um, or not? What is your idea on that? Um, I've heard in the past, just because you have an expensive camera doesn't mean you know how to use it. That's right. Which is like completely true. Like I have like an Olympus right now and it's not like the best, like of the best, but I know how to use it. Right. But my uncle has like a lot of cameras and I like use his and I don't even know how to use them to their full extent because sure. I'm not at that stage yet. Sure. So you have to start with something small and then work your way up to bigger and better things like you guys have. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. What do you see yourself doing in five years? I really like to be in Sports Illustrated. That'd be something, one of my dreams, not for the models, but to do the sports and like the like NFL, um, baseball, hockey, which should be like the biggest one out there. Yeah, that's excellent. Well, mm -hmm. I wish you the best with everything you're doing. Thank and you. I'm pretty sure that you will go very, very far and uh, a lot of people will look up to you and what you're doing in it and I think it's great. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us. Thank you. Okay. All right, Audrey. <laughs>